Hello my lovelies and welcome back. This, I'm not going to get through everything, um, so I'm not going to open everything but I'm going to show you everything. This is episode two of the box Julian sent me and I've had to put it out um, on my table because the box is so big. So I've kind of split everything up into uh, categories. I haven't eaten yet, which is excellent. Where to start? I'll start with some of the things I'm not going to be opening. And you'll understand when you see them. These delightfully crinkly little packets. So these are, well, these are all packets of cocoa. Oh, I can't wait to try them. I love hot chocolate. Um, we've got various different flavours. And they all sound divine. So this one is salted caramel. had s'mores because we don't have um, graham crackers over here. I have tried them with a different type of cracker. What was it? No, it was a digestive. Someone said get a digestive, a little bit of chocolate and a marshmallow and it wasn't that nice. So I think maybe you've got to try it properly. My boyfriend's going to be wanting to get his hands on these. He's a big hot chocolate fiend. Oh, they're so nice. Such a soft, gentle crinkle. Then we have pumpkin spice. in like a kind of copper looking packet. My table's all wobbly. I have had um, pumpkin sp- have I? Yeah, I think I had a pumpkin spice latte in October from um, Starbucks. It was a soy milk one. It was alright, I don't see if everyone's making a fuss about. Um, but I, if they're flavoured with chocolate, I like them more. I don't like coffee, so maybe that's why I wasn't keen on the pumpkin spice latte. Next, we have Arctic White. I think this could be one of my faves. these at home. These remind me of um, options hot chocolates. If you go into a shop, there's little packets of options and you can get mint, orange, um, chocolate flavour. I can't, oh you can't get white chocolate ones. Also my nails. Didn't realise how much they peeled. I think I might treat myself to gel nail varnish because that's just after, what day was this? I put this on on Friday night. It's Monday now. It's peeled. Raspberry. 
never had raspberry hot chocolate before and the funny thing is when I think of this I I don't think it would taste very nice because it's like oh it's raspberry and hot chocolate but I like orange hot chocolate and orange is a citrus fruit and you wouldn't think it would go with like the creamy hot chocolate but chocolate oranges are amazing and I like chocolate covered raspberries but somehow just seeing that feels odd but I bet this is really nice oh it sounds so good I really really like this sound Unfortunately, I can't give myself ASMR, so I'll just have to enjoy it. <clears throat> then we have the Chocolate Supreme, which I'm guessing is just chocolate. But they've called it Chocolate Supreme, because chocolate just isn't good enough. And then last, but definitely not least, French Vanilla. Why French? Are the French good at making vanilla? Is it just from a, fav a famous um, thing? Was there something that was French that had vanilla in and is French vanilla now I think? Or is it good at having vanilla like um, Seville oranges? There's also two things that I took out that I won't be showing you that are on a shelf, um, a very special shelf, the Biscuits of Britain shelf um, and one I really want to eat but I have to save it um, and the other one is very similar to something I've already had before on Biscuits of Britain but it's not the same brand, but they look almost identical um, so I'm going to let them in um, another two things that I won't be opening are these and that is um, Brookside now, to British people Brookside is the name of a very famous show, it's not on anymore um, it was a show based in Liverpool and it was this Brookside close and it's like a, it's just a soap opera um, so yeah, Brookside to me is like Beth Jordash and Jimmy something I didn't actually watch it um, I think I tuned in for the infamous lesbian kiss one I think it was the first lesbian kiss ever to be shown on TV in Britain or something um, but I kind of tuned in, there was Jennifer Ellison in it and then Tin, Tinhead, I think they called him Tinhead, a boyfriend, I vaguely remember things um, so yeah, that's what I see when I read this book I won't be opening this because they're dark chocolate I don't really like dark chocolate um, there's been things in the past where I can tolerate it but on whole I just don't like dark chocolate however my mother loves dark chocolate and she loves fruit 
and it's her party coming up this month. She's having a birthday slash retirement garden party. It's not as tame as it sounds. It gets a little bit messy. Um, my mum turns the garage into like a bar. Basically, she just puts a lot of drink out. Everyone brings their own drink. And then by the end of the night, it's like, we need to get rid of this drink. And we're all making shots of... Um, it was messy last time. I think she had her 60th and it was... It was messy and what was even worse was my brother came up for the party but the night before the party he came over to my house to test cocktails because he was making cocktails. Um, and he was like, yeah, I'll make one for each of us. It was me, my brother and my boyfriend. I'm like, we can't have one cocktail each. We'll be hammered. Um, I was like, make one cocktail between the three of us and we can test it. And even doing that, we were all smashed. <laughs> but they were really nice. So yes, yabba yabba yabba. I'm going to take these for my mum. So this one is, is that acai? I think. I think that might be um, pronounced acai and blueberry flavour. Soft fruit flavoured centres covered in smooth dark chocolate. And I can just tell by how dark that chocolate looks that it would be far too bitter for me. Especially as my favourite type of chocolate is white chocolate, which isn't even chocolate. It's got no cocoa in. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's how kind of, like, far left I am on the chocolate scale. My favourite type of chocolate is named chocolate. And the second lot from Brookside is, um, gorgy and raspberry flavours. A very, I don't want to crinkle it because it's the type of, it's like a foil if I tore into it, you know, it's got that foil inside. It's one of those type of um, packets that if it crinkles it makes like a really loud noise. But you can hear the, you can hear the chocolates on the inside. funny noise. I'm wearing my geek pants. My geek pants are just um, like jogging bottoms with writing on and that kind of plasticky stuff that they put logos on and it sticks to the seat I'm sitting on. Right. Um, I'm only going to open one of these. We have Pocky. Now I've had Pocky before, a long time ago though. Um, and I think I've just had the plain chocolate ones, like the normal chocolate. I don't remember them being green though. Is this actually green chocolate? This looks very, very unusual, green chocolate. Um, this is a strawberry one, which I think looked delightful, and they're even a heart-shaped stick on the back. So the pocket stick's actually heart-shaped and then they fill it in at the top. Um, oh, I think I'm going to try that one. We have chocolate banana. Don't know how I feel about that. I like banana and I like chocolate, but when they get together, I don't know, there's just something odd, um, but they might be really nice, because I've been wrong about things before in the past. But the ones I'm going to try now are Almond Crush, and these remind me of, um, Magnums. These remind me of a chocolate almond magnum. 
which I can't have anymore because I'm lactose intolerant now and they used to be my favourite ones I like the white chocolate one but there was just I always wanted them to do an almond white chocolate magnum and I used to break off a big chunk of chocolate on the side and scoop the ice cream but I can't anymore so these remind me of them hearts on the top of them. They don't on that one but they've got little um I don't think you'll be able to see can you just about it's like a little heart there. on the sides they've just got little um I don't know what they are maybe images of little sticks Chocolate's really nice. Can you hear that? The ice cream man. Mmm. That chocolate is so nice. sticks were invented for like dieting were they a chocolate that someone thought I create those for someone who's on a diet so they can still have chocolate or are they just a cute idea because it seemed like I think I remember when I first they first appeared over here I recall them being marketed as um, like a, a diet chocolate because there was so few calories on them is that what they are or is that just how somebody's marketed them I'm gonna have a taste of this now funnily enough I've just been sent this in my last box Captain Wafers now I did not like the last ones I tasted them I think I did um it was a periscope I'd opened some on Periscope. I tasted them on Periscope and there was something really weird and I didn't realise that the cracker was cheese and I was eating a cheese cracker with um, peanut butter in which is very peculiar to me because I'd never mix those. To me peanut butter is almost a bit of a sweet thing. The only time I'd have it savoury is with chicken and chicken satay. So yeah, it was a bit, uh, a bit peculiar. But these don't look like they're cheese. They look like they're plain. We've got grilled cheese, four cheese, and cream cheese and chives. Um, which I'm not going to eat because I'm not a huge fan of cheese I like cheese on toast um, but like four cheese it's got that Stilton, like the mouldy one no. so I'm going to try the peanut butter and honey make sure it's not on a cheese cracker it's on a taste who actually buys these like out of all you lot who goes to the shop and thinks, oh yeah, I'll get some 
Captain's wafers crackers. And when do you eat them? Okay. So it smells very peanut buttery. The wafers are um, salty. But they're not flavoured. Or they can insane flavour. I like these. Mm. These particular ones are nice. Um, because they're just like a plain salty. Are these graham crackers? A gram, sorry, graham crackers. Is that what a graham cracker is? It doesn't say they are. Or are these not graham crackers? Are they just cupped in wafers, crackers? These are nice. I'm not sure how I'd fare in the cheese ones. The thought of eating a cheese flavour cracker weeds me out a bit. Um, I think my boyfriend would be more into those ones, but these are nice. The crackers really nice and light. But yeah, when do you eat these? Is this like a snack that you have a, you know, like a 10 o'clock before lunch so you don't get hungry? Almost just smash my teeth in there. Those are nice, but I'm not sure how I'd feel about the others. I'm going to put them there for later on. Okay. So another thing, I've had to rebuild this. It's this goldfish baked snacks in three different flavours and those flavours are vanilla cupcake, s'mores and fudge brownies. And I think I'm going to taste the small ones, so oh, they're like little, um, little mini packets. So it's like a little packet, just cut it open. The reason I cut these packets open and not tear them open is because when you tear them open they're a lot louder. about those. Have them one by one. Chocolate one's left on the side down. That's not chocolatey at all. Very good either. But this. Those marshmallows are the same ones that come in um, Lucky Charms. We don't get Lucky Charms over here anymore. We have to buy them through like an American store. The main shops don't sell them anymore. Even though people would totally buy them. Not as 
as fantastical as I thought they'd be. They're not, um, they're not as sweet. I thought they'd be really sweet, but they're not. Maybe it's just come super into sugar, which is bad. What else have we got? Oh, I know what I'm going to do with that. This is um, a pastry crisps special K red velvet. What? Pastry crisps are ready to eat bars and should not be placed in the toaster or microwave. We all know that's on there because somebody's put this in the toast. Toaster and microwave. Pastry crisps. I'm gonna save this for work on Thursday for my mid morning snack. Because usually I'm much down half a pack of biscuits for a mid morning snack. That's no lie, unfortunately. Um, oh. I think these might be little bites of heaven. Reese's mini cups, unwrapped mini white peanut butter cups. They're so good. something that I'm going to need to ration but I'm going to struggle to because I'm going to want to eat the entire thing but then I'm running out of space here okay so um, I'll just show you these these are some Lindor citrus now I found with Lindor they're really really strong and they're a bit too rich if they're the chocolate ones but any other flavour and they're like they're much easier to eat the whole packet I think just chocolate, I've said it many times before I don't like just chocolate they've got to have something with the chocolate, the chocolate's got to be around something like coconut or like a wafer or something and especially with Lindor they're very rich but these are white chocolate that doesn't apply to white chocolate and the citrus so I think these are going to be amazing but I want to save them save them because what happens is when I open all these they go in my cupboards and I have no room and then I kind of try and work my way through them very quickly which is not good. Um, and this. Definitely going to save these for a special occasion. Gourmet truffles. So on the back we have milk chocolate truffle, extra dark chocolate truffle, white chocolate truffle, hazelnut one, uh, a dark chocolate and a vanilla one. And you can hear that little, you know, the little piece of paper you get inside. 
you can hear that. So, I'm going to try three more things. So I've got some more of these Japanese candy. This one's a fruit, fruit mix. Um, this is, I'm filming this the day after the last video. So yesterday I filmed the first half. Was it yesterday? No, it wasn't, it was Saturday. It was Saturday I filmed the first one. And uh, all those mango sweets are gone. So this one is fruit gummy candy. But these aren't the ones I'm going to be opening. I'm going to open these. And I have no idea what flavour this is. It's Romaine flavour gummy candy. Apparently Romaine is Ramen Ramoon. Ramoon, I can't read. Ramoon is known for its refreshing taste and is a popular soft drink in Japan. Enjoy the delicious flavour in Kasugai Ramoon flavour gummy candy. Oh, oh! It smells like it smells like um, you know that um, you know cola bottles where you get the blue and pink fizzy ones. It smells like those. Now the only thing I didn't like about these sweets is they have an awful coating on the outside and when you eat that it like covers your teeth it smells like lemonade it's very weird it's like um this one isn't too bad actually with the coating it's like a, a lemonade candy. They're nice. They're very ref they are. They're very refreshing. Oh, they're nice. I might just eat all of those tonight. Okay. before. I've had nerds before. I don't remember when the last time I had some was. I don't think it was that long ago. Maybe like five, six years. It's been a while though. Know your portion. Two teaspoons, which is that much, is 40 calories. One tablespoon is 60 calories. Yeah, we've got some there. I didn't drop any. Let's do this is big one. Oh, they're hard. I forgot about that. was funny when it's something sour. I've noticed that. Wow. I forgot that it was sour. Oh my god. Ooh. Put a few more in. the sweetness right. Just put it all in. Mm. 
Try to keep a straight face. She likes sour stuff. That's not too bad, yeah. Like a sour pocket, and it kind of goes in the next way for the sweet. My taste is funny after that. All right, we're gonna end on something I've been eyeing up. I'm going to show you what the packet is, I'm going to let you listen first. Okay. Oh, God, this smell good. Can you tell what it is yet? If I put it up there, you won't be able to see it anyway. <gasps> do, 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 do. It is an Oreo. Strawberry shortcake Oreo. Oh, and it smells gorgeous. Let's just do the old twist. Is it twist and dunk or twist and lick? I don't want to lick it. Breaking so many pieces. So you put them in all in one go. I put some off in. I want. prepared for how much of my mouth that would take up. I mean I've put um I've put an entire rich tea in my mouth in one go as daisy flowers doing biscuits of Britain and I managed that fine but that it's not that like you can't chew it it's that like you have to open your mouth to chew it and I hate that. I'm gonna go and sit with my white chocolate Reese's mini cups and my strawberry Oreos and maybe make myself another cup of tea because this one's getting cool and empty. So I want to say a huge huge thank you to Julian. Please give some thumbs up in the comment section. I love it when you use emojis. There's an emoji website that I actually use because when you're typing it you can't type emojis but you can go to this site I will paste or type a link or whatever I don't know if I can put a direct link but that's where I copy and paste emojis in so please give some huge thumbs up and some love in the comments for this awesome box um, there will be um, a Biscuits of Britain with the two boxes of biscuits hidden up there. I don't know when though, so don't ask me. I have to get around to filming that. I've got quite a busy week this week. My car needs a new tyre and a new ball joint in in the tyre thingy, my bob. Something like that. So yes, from the bottom of my stomach, thank you Julian. I have thoroughly enjoyed this. Even though a little bit like Heidi's, there's just far too much to cover in one video, hence the reason there's two. So yeah, 
So I'm gonna go now and polish off some more Oreos, make myself a cup of tea. So thank you, thank you, thank you Julian for this awesome box. Thank you everybody for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye!